Okay, hi, I'm Lupe, everybody. And so it's September 19th, it's a Wednesday, and I have class at 7 a.m. that morning. So I get up around 5, and I get up, take a shower, and make myself some breakfast, because I want a big health kick at the time. And as soon as I'm about to walk out the door, my boyfriend comes barely out of the bedroom, and he's like, wait, he's like, I'm gonna take you to school today. And I thought, okay, well, why not? I don't wanna deal with parking. So takes me to school, sit in my two-hour class, I'm bored out of my mind, get out of class, and I see him coming, and I notice his car's washed, he got a haircut, he shaved, and it's not like he's dirty, but it's very uncommon, so I thought, I'm not going to question him, I'll let him be for a while, question him later. He takes me to Chipotle for some lunch, and then he tells me, hey, do you mind seeing my mom today? And I thought, sure, why not? But the problem is, she lives in the San Fernando Valley, so now I have to drive an hour away to see her. So we get out there, she's at work. He's like, hey, you mind killing some time? And I thought, sure, why not? So we run some errands. He's like, while we're running errands, he's like, do you want to go to the beach? I thought, sure, it's kind of chilly, but I'll go to the beach. I'm not a big beach person, but he is, so I'm humoring, humoring him for the day. So we go to the beach, and when we pull into the beach, I notice that there's big rigs, there's food trucks, there's cops everywhere, there's people everywhere. And so I tell my boyfriend, hey, let's pull up next to the cop and ask him if we can be on the beach today. So we pull up, I ask the officer, and he's like, oh, you're welcome to the beach. They're filming a commercial, but it's public property, so you're allowed on the beach. So just ask them down there if you're allowed or not. So we park, we head down, it's a little like, like stairs, but they're sandy, so they're really slippery. So once we get down, of course there's an attendant down, down there, and he tells us, hey, you're allowed on the beach because we're filming a commercial, but you need to stay on the right-hand side because we're using the left and don't go in the water. And we're thinking, that's fine, it's cold. So we find a little spot, and we're hanging out, and I start telling my boyfriend, hey, I'm cold, like, can I have your jacket? But he's not giving it to me, so I'm thinking, really, you're going to be rude and not give me your jacket? <laughs> so after a while, he gives me his jacket, and we're sitting there just chit-chatting, and now I'm completely consumed by this commercial on the left because he's boring me. And I think this is so much more entertaining, people yelling action, people frolicking in the water. And then he starts asking me, remember the last time we were here, I asked you a question, and I'm thinking, the last time we were here was three months ago. It was with your sister. What on God's earth could you ask me that I'm gonna remember three months from now? So he keeps asking me, come on, you really, you really need to remember this. And I'm thinking, okay, let me think. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, nothing's coming to mind. So. He's like, come on, it was so important, and you told me not to ask you this unless I was being serious. And I'm thinking, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I remember finally. I'm like, hey, no, my answer is no, so stop asking me this unless you're being serious, because the day you ask me, I'm gonna say no, and I'm gonna ruin this moment. And he starts laughing, I'm thinking, ha ha, laugh it up, this is the best part of your life right now. So as he's laughing, and I'm looking to my right, he tells me, well, guess what? And I'm thinking, what? And he's like, well, this time I'm being serious. And so I'm looking to the right, and as I'm turning to look at him, because he's on my left-hand side, he's getting up on one knee. And now it's like I'm completely baffled by the fact that I'm being proposed to on a Wednesday, and he's getting up on one knee, and the sun's setting on the right. It's like the cheesiest thing ever, but it's cute. And he has this little red box, and he opens it up, and there's a diamond ring with this little light shining on it. And he's like, well, this time I'm being serious. Will you marry me? I'm saying, of course I'll marry you. I've been waiting for this thing for seven years. Of course I'm going to say yes. And then he tells me, oh, well, guess what? And we're going to Santa Barbara. We're not going to see my mom today. So we hop in the car. I call my family and friends. And they, of course, all know. So I'm, I'm completely shocked. And we pull up to the Oceana Hotel in Santa Barbara. And we walk into this suite. And there's strawberries, there's roses everywhere, there's champagne. And that night, when I laid my head down, I thought, wow, I woke up on a Wednesday to go to class to have an ordinary day with my boyfriend. And now I'm in Santa Barbara, I'm engaged, and now I need to plan a wedding. So thank you.